If you're anything like me, you like to have a strong neck and you like to have strong traps. If you're looking for one of the best trap builders that I've found and you're looking for a new exercise to stimulate your traps because basic shrugs with the barbell and double dumbbell kind of thing, they've kind of gone stale for you, give this one a shot. In my personal opinion, this is the single best trap builder, upper trap builder that we found here at Performance University. So let me show it to you and then we'll talk about a few coaching tips. And by the way, I learned this exercise from legendary coach, strength coach Mike Gittleson, so I have him to thank for that exercise. So I'm going to be seated. I'm going to grab a single dumbbell. I'm going to take my hand and grab it behind me on the bench. I'll demonstrate from the side in a second. I'm going to let this shoulder, the one holding the dumbbell, drop below my other shoulder and then raise it up and bring my ear to my shoulder. And then I'm going to let it stretch down a little bit. I'm not going to overstretch, but I'm definitely going to get a little stretch. It's no different than doing a deadlift where you feel a little tug in your hamstrings. So basically what's happening is the back hand is going to grab behind your hip. If you grab next to your hip, you're, you have to be hunched over like so. If you grab behind your hip like this, then you can stay up nice and tall. The other thing is, the reason why you let this shoulder, the shoulder that's shrugging, drop below the other shoulder is, if you look at some of the, I don't want to make this an anatomy lecture, but some of the world's greatest anatomists, primarily Nikolai Bogduk, really did a breakdown of the traps and he said that based on the upper trapezius, the alignment of the upper trapezius fibers, the only time you're really going to get a tremendous amount of uh, recruitment when you shrug is if the shoulder is below where it normally sits. Once it's up here, it's, all the fibers are running this way, they're not really running this way anymore. The ones that run this way are your levator scapula. So it's important to lower that shoulder so where you now align those fibers more diagonally and you give them a vector of resistance to pull your shoulder up. I hope that makes sense. Plus, in life, rarely do we do things that are 100% even like a double arm shrug. Nothing wrong with them. But these allow you for a greater stretch in your trapezius, a greater range of motion, which means more muscles work. Also, a lot of people claim that people have tight trapezius and what upper trapezius, and that can be argued with the research, but you're never going to develop uh, an overly tight muscle or muscle imbalance in your traps if you're always working them through a full range of motion. If you're always starting them in shortened ranges, like a double arm shrug, then maybe you, you shorten and tighten them up. But if you're fully stretching them every time, I, I personally don't think you have anything to worry about in that regard. So I had to do these. So up nice and tall, let my right shoulder drop a little stretch, and then I bring my ear to my shoulder. Pause for a second. Okay, so I'm bringing my ear away from my shoulder, and then I bring my shoulder up, and then bring my ear to my shoulder. Full stretch, full contraction on the upper trapezius. The single arm shrug, I've also named it the Gittleson shrug, from uh, my skip by Gittleson, who I learned it from. Give that one a shot. It's my favorite upper trapezius builder, and it'll probably end up being your favorite as well.